community, what do we think about James Gunn? He's been hired. He's going to be producing every single DC film. He's the overseer. He has problems. I understand that. But the things that he's given us, beginning with a Superman legacy film, while not interfering with that Batman film that Matt Reeves has. He's got a whole sequel. He just says he had an Elseworlds. Don't worry about that. Look over here. My Superman legacy will not have the Batman in it. That's one thing. Now, he did something recently. He hired an actress to play Supergirl. Hey, stick around for my live stream later today to Child Neglect number three. But he hired an actress, but there is no Supergirl movie director there yet. That person hasn't been featured. Now, how do you hire an actress? without your director. Is that a problem? Inherently, yes. Now, James Gunn has a director's eye, and he knows what he's going to be using that actress for in Supergirl, the character, I should say. He knows what the, he knows where that character is going to go. So maybe we can allow him that, but still, what's the rush? What's the rush to get a Supergirl really quickly, this early? Just so she can appear in Superman Legacy? We'll see how that plays off. The Superman Legacy movie being good or bad is like the... That is like the, the biggest determinator of the success of James Gunn. Is it good? Does it make money? Maybe there's two things. And maybe even making money is more important than it's being good. Both are important because after this good movie, even if it only makes $600 million, you know, if people watch it on HBO Max over and over again, it's recommended. We get this movie out there. People are invested. Oh my God, this is the best superhero film we've had in years since Guardians 3 which he directed then maybe that would be a it, not maybe it would be a solid foundation I am not opposed to any of his interactions on the internet where he'll answer questions it's just open it's just it's just being real and that's what we want does he talk too much they say that he does I can see why people would say that but maybe because I'm rooting for him to succeed I'm clouded. Some of his answers about Michael B. Jordan and his, and no, no, it was J.J. Abrams and his Superman movie. According to him, like, it's still going on. That movie is still planned. Why? I don't want to see that movie. No one wants to see that movie that I know of. No one, no one with a brain thinks that's a good idea. Will it be a race swap Superman? I don't want that. I, I don't want a single race swap because it's very rare a Superman movie will might cost $100 million or more. It's very rare for $100 million to go to a lead actor whose skin is melanated. Why are you wasting that on a temporary representation? We all know Superman's a white guy named Clark Kent. And even if they cast a black guy in one movie, it's going to return to being white forever. There's no long-term benefit to this. There, the, the reason for representation isn't for stand-ins here and, and substitutes there. It's so that we have just the same reverence we got for Superman with Static. That movie still hasn't been shot down. Probably been delayed another five years, but not shot down. When the Superman movie is successful, followed by uh, everything else he's got. He's got Teen Titans. Does he got a cartoon for Teen Titans? A Supergirl film? Swamp Thing? When all these make money, then it's easy for him to go to the to Warner Brothers and say, yeah, $150 million budget, Virgil Hawkins. Get it, get it going. Get a video game right now for Static. Let's do it. He can do that once these are successful. And if they're not, they're not. That's just movie business. That's just sense. James Gunn, this is his report card. And it's the comment section. I read my comments. You give him an A, a B, a C. Do you not grade him at all because he hasn't done anything? I would understand that too.